What's up my people, this is Sly, here with Flo and Flo, Danny Gray, back practicing. Now we both know what happened with him in minicamp OTAs, uh, pulled hamstring, that stuff could be tricky, it could be a week, it could be a month, it could be three months, four months, that thing's really tricky. But it's good to see him back. Looks about 80, 90%. What do you think about all this, man? Yeah, man. When he initially got the injury, I was a little bit worried. Hamstrings, man, those could ruin people, especially quick guys like Danny Gray. But the good thing, he has the youth to him, and it looks like he's already bounced back, and he's looking good. And he's going to need to be there uh, at the start of a uh, training camp because this is our deepest wide receiver year, probably in, like, about 20 years because obviously we got Debo, Brandon Ayuk, uh, Juwan Jennings. After that, we got Ray Ray McLeod. I think it's going to be Danny Gray and either Marcus Johnson or probably Malik Turner. So we have a lot of guys at the receiving core. And I knew Danny Gray, if he was there, he's going to have a really good chance at making this team. Obviously, we drafted him pretty uh, high, and he just has the talent. He has a work ethic, and he was looking good in these routes. I liked how his trainer was telling him, let's go, DG, let's go, DG, and he was just performing. He was coming out of those cuts really quick, so I like this, but what do you think, Sly? Yeah, man, I was a little bit concerned. I'm not going to lie because, you know, training camp's around the corner, and if he wasn't going to be ready, you know, it could be a setback, but the fact that he's training, he's ready to go, um, it's, it's great, man. And the fact, like you said, he was young, so the youth really showed that you can recover faster and it just proved it and he's looking good man he's crisp routes uh, I'm excited for him like we said what happened with him in rookie mini camp member we were talking everyone was talking about all the beat writers were saying this guy's the best guy on the field and unfortunately OTA's mini camp and we're like where the heck is Danny at and the fact is we found out that he had that hamstring so he wasn't there so it was kind of a buzz kill but the fact that he's back man he's ready to go for training camp which is in only three weeks guys so it's that time of the year, man. It's time to pump it up. We're right around the corner for training camp. And remember, guys, preseason is already next month. So it's getting that time. This is the grind right now. This is the time where it makes these teams champions, all the things that are doing on the offseason. And I'm excited, man. Yeah, man. And it's good that he's going to be there from day one because he, I think he's going to be our deep threat guy this year, man. The guy, he knows how to get downfield. He could beat a lot of people. And I think him, Trey Lance, are going to have that connection Uh for these upcoming years and I can't wait for that first preseason game against the Packers I think him and DG they might connect for a bomb man and it's going to be beautiful once that happens yeah man absolutely exciting like you said Trey Lance what he's known for those deep passes and Danny Gray that's his specialty so it's going to be really great to see it's really great to know that he's back preseason I just I can't wait I think he's going to be like the top three four guys that I'm going to be looking at in the preseason because I know fireworks are going to happen and I know the 4th of July is in a few days so get your popcorn ready Get your popcorn ready. All right. Well, you guys let us know in the comments what you guys think about DG running these routes. How do you think he looked in this video? Like, comment, subscribe. Hit that notification bell. We'll see you all next time. Peace. Peace.